imagine you have been given the opportunity to present the company's growth data in front of big audience or in front of the executives what will you do will you just take this particular slide and present it in front of them like i've just put company growth and then i've just put one bullet point where it says company growth in the last fiscal year is 25 percent and the company earned 200 million net profit remember this is very important slide because the company has growth uh, or growth rate of 25 percent and has earned 200 million as a net profit so uh, presenting this kind of information in a simple slide uh, it's not good so we have to do something different for this purpose i have just created recreated this particular slide as something like this i have created a yellow background or the gold background and i've added the company's growth the title there then i've added a kind of a torch or a battery uh, kind of icon and then the moment i click that one immediately a light comes from there and it says 25 percent growth and i have represented that with the arrow upwards arrow and then i've just put 200 million net profit so you can see the difference uh, presenting data in this format or presenting the data in this format so this will always be good to show something different and to show something unique to the stakeholders or to the bigger audience so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes and from rectangles i'm just going to select this one which is rectangle top corners rounded just make maybe this much size you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give a black color and then go to rotate you can rotate it left 90 degrees and just put it here you can see here let me just zoom in and i'm just going to cut this part from here so this is a torch actually i'm creating go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle here a small rectangle so that i'm going to just cut this part select the black rectangle first and then the smaller one by holding the shift key merge shape and you can just subtract it you can see here you end up getting this shape and then i'm going to insert shapes and i'm going to select this one trapezoid draw a trapezoid like this shape outline make it no outline and give a black color and again this also i'm just going to rotate you can see here left rotate left 90 degrees and i'm just going to bring it here and then you can see the small point here just increase the size you can see here if you want to increase the size further also you can increase it and then with the help of this one you can reduce the width you can see here make sure that this is the same size of the rectangle and then i'm just going to add one more shape the same shape i'm just going to add which is the rectangle top corners rounded make a smaller one you can see here again shape fill make it black shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can just increase the size a little bit and you can make it more curved and then rotate i'm just making rotate right 90 degrees and bring it here and make the same size equal to this one so you can see here my battery design is ready so i'm just going to add one more shape now i'm just going to add a switch here on off for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the second one which is rounded corner rectangle draw the shape like this and make it fully curved and give the color as some other color shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in i'm just going to bring this here you can see here and reduce the size you can hold the shift key also to reduce the size you can see here just add it here in the center and make the color as white you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate 
and make this color as black and then hold the shift key reduce the size and bring it here sorry there's some problem with my mouse yeah so you can see here let me just remove the guides and this is how the battery looks and i'm going to change the background of this right mouse click go to format background and any color uh, of the slide you can choose i'm just going to select this one which is the gold color and then i'm going to add the light the light is coming out from the torch so to add the torch light let me just close this format background go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the trapezoid again draw a big trapezoid shape fill make it white you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to rotate left 90 degrees you can see here i'm going to make by covering the whole slide and then increase the width you can see here and then you can see the small orange point i'm just going to reduce the size so you can see here it is coming out from the torch it looks like the light is coming out from the torch and again if you want more also you can just add one more and reduce the uh, the transparent effect but let me let me just take this only and now once we do this one we need to add the text so say i want to add like 25 percent company growth for that let me just go to insert text box and i'm just going to put 25 percent and make sure that this should be highlighted as much big as you can you need to increase the size you can see here 25 percent make it bold and just bring it here and i'm just going to add a arrow to show the growth i can just select this arrow you can see here and represent the color with green so that we know it's a growth shape outline make it no outline so here and then i want to highlight the earnings also for example 200 million or whatever say 200 million and again increase the size you can see here make it bold adjust it so now we have added the text i'm just going to select all the text and press ctrl g to group it now to give the animation let me just go to animations tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select the light first and here i'm going to use the wipe effect there's something wrong with my mouse today i believe let me just select wipe and wipe effect i'm just going to select from left but the light is coming out very slowly i want it more faster so let me just double click this go to timing and i'm going to say zero point maybe zero one is going to accept or not i don't know let me just select and click ok yeah it accepted so if i play immediately you can see here it is coming very fast if i play on the slideshow when i click anywhere immediately it coming so and then i'm going to select this one or i'm just going to select this animation painter again click on the text so this also comes immediately and i can say with previous so if I just play now, you can see here it comes very quickly. So you can do a lot of things uh, with this particular slide to show the important data uh, instead of showing a uh, regular like this. You can see here the difference. I just put a company growth in the last fiscal year is 25% and company earned 200 million net profit. Now compared to this, with this slide, you can see the difference. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.